Good morning. Good morning folks, I'd like you to join me for Karun's comfort camping. Show you to do it properly, to be warm, dry and secure. The, demonstra the demonstrations are going to be mainly this morning with the fly sheet. The tent's the one on the inside, the fly sheet's the one on the outside. And that's what we're looking at this morning. So first of all, keep your back to the wind. Um, so the tent, if there is a breeze, blows out in front of you. So I'm going to first of all try and find the back. to hold on to the back here. With a Ted Peg in hand. Now if the breeze you blow and blow the tent up, we're quite happy with that. So first of all, let's secure the four corners of the rear and the back. Make sure that's turned up and right One. To, to say, let's nail the four corners. If you can hear me, I have to speak a bit louder for the distance from the camera, and I've been told to speak properly. <laughs> so, as I say, we nail the four corners first. Get those down. All right. They will say the breeze is still coming at us. We're okay because it's blowing at just fair advantage. Tent poles, I should say, yes. We've got three tent poles. It's a dome type tent, which are good in that they give you maximum of space for the footage of the tent. The big problem is going to be, well, not for us, because, or us, because we're going to show you how to make sure we're warm, dry, secure. But this sentence we're just going to show you how to put the modern dome tent. One. The guy sheets are already attached to this fly sheet.
stage. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the uh, dome tent up. Maximise the amount of space available. It requires a wee bit of muscle like that, but just pull it in and away. Yeah, it's a Now, the good thing about this is it is waterproof. The case against it is it's everything proof. It's not heat proof. If the temperature drop, drops through the night, the temperature will drop inside the tent. This is not a warm material from my experience. Also, um, because of that, the condensation will develop. If you have four people in this tent, the condensation could only be but running down the sides of the inside of the tent. You wake in the morning damp, tacky, and if the forages have not had enough oxygen, you'll get a sore head as well, because this material does not breathe. But I'm going to take this material to a seamstress and have it converted to a modern type material, I believe it's called cotton. This has vents on it, which means it gets cold. It's supposed to air circulate, but it's cold circulates as well. The cotton won't need any vents. It'll be exactly the same design. So can I thank you ladies and gentlemen, catch you soon. Thank you. Hi folks, back again. Um, as I said earlier, we have taken our original fly sheet and used as a template the seamstress has given us back exactly the same thing, only now in cotton. The original pieces you know cause you know, condensation inside Burnt, burnt up oxygen breathing, give you a sore head, sticky, sweaty in the morning. Also, the vent in it was supposed to allow air to circulate. However, I instructed the seamstress not to bother with the vents because the cotton breathes and is warm and doesn't give any condensation. I do go in a bit, but it's nice. Um, but now, what I want to do, as I said earlier, I want to waterproof it. Make sure it's waterproof. So what I'm going to do on that field, if I can, I'm going to put water in the bath, sufficient to cover our fly sheet. It's a bit heavier, obviously, than the original piece, but it's lovely and warm already. You can feel it, right? So just let's make sure it's waterproof, and we have this product. Which I won't name in case I get a row for advertising. It's a liquid and I'll show you from the put on. So first of all I'm going to plug the bath. Clever boy. Yeah? Well. Let's now start running some water in. I would normally use a child blow up paddling tool. But for this instance, you have this facility available and the maybe all you have you want to do this. So um, I can't my feet it's down slow. So the rewards are you can camp with comfort against all weather. Stand below, no problem. So first light that put in this liquid. I don't suppose it would have to name it, but I'm not worried about it. Well, it's too advertising. It's just all the amateur performance here. Don't throw me. Okay, 
ring, so there we are. This is obviously a, a waterproofing deal. And uh, it's really expensive, I'm going to you know. And um, that is probably sufficient. So if you don't mind, I just need to make sure. So we'll do the same again. Tell me, which means I can't open it. I can, I can, I can. I can, I can, I can. Oh, no, man. Um, I can't, I can't. Again, it's got full seal. Yeah, come, 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 come. No swearing. So I've got advanced to make sure it's sealed. So let's do the same again. I'll agitate it with adding water. I suppose there's other ways of applying this to a tent. So this is what I do, and it works. Well, what difference it makes with that, you know? It's not that sticky. Wait. Good morning, so we talk to you. So now, you quite simply put the whole thing in. You'll appreciate this is a lot more expensive than the, than the original tank. The slices itself. But, uh, and of course, all the latest tools which you may have available yourself. So let's soak in. This is call an agitator. I believe um, house persons, or housewives, call it a mop. It's actually an agitator. And is that the housewife or house husband that sings it? Oh, you can get yourself in trouble. Alright, so, sounds odd. At the moment you see yourself, what an awful lot of trouble to go to, to waterproof a tent. Have a howling gale and the rain pouring down on you, and you're freezing wet and cold and the tents seams are not as waterproof as if they told you were in the condensation. It's really just running down the side of the walls. Then you'll think to yourself, I wish I'd got those tools, that waterproof material, I went to this trouble. Because I think I'm going to leave this to soak in all night. And of course, somebody's going to decide the one of that. Tough. Okay. Well, if there's any volunteers or any of those who are involved in uh, trading the grapes, if they want to come forward and step in. No, there's no volunteers. And this is all dried out to show you how camp any hillside midwinter, January, December, no problem. It's the warmth it gives you. Breathing is caught as cotton does. 
There's not that kind of decision going on. I know I'm going on a bit. But uh, let's put it another way. If you watch this video and then you do go out with a conventional plastic tent, you know, serves you right. Good cheese dog doing this, you gather.
I think we'll just put it in the weeds for a little bit of I love the way he's just carrying it. Come on, Dave. 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 You have to look at the wee, the wee trolley by the way, eh? Not bad. So, come with me. We'll go downstairs and put it out to dry. The best, best way known. Mad folks, follow me. It's a lovely morning. It's over, overcast, but it's nice. Spread it out. You may think it's a lot of trouble to go to, but the uh, it's really well worth it if you want to enjoy the camping. So a nice uh, gentle breeze at this at the moment, a bit of sunshine. And that'll dry out to perfection, that's all we require, it's ready to go. So that's a flying sheet, treated to be waterproof and left overnight and to soak up and then left overnight again to uh, lift its own weight, dry it out and we'll finish off by laying it out here. Obviously a professional might not use make use of what we have available but uh, that's what we've been doing and you can obviously use all the things we have because normally I would use a, a child's paddling pool, blow up paddling pool to wash it in. So let's leave it there for a while um, and I'll leave you in peace. Thank you. Hi folks that's us back again. That's been a uh, full day, blazing sunshine, nice breeze, and it's now dry. I've tried to check it. Just double soon. Right. That is it, waterproof. So the next thing we'll do is put it up. Um, see, it's not stretched too far or anything like that. But there you have it. That wasn't too big a job. The sun did most of the work and the slight breeze, which I believe they call Mariah. So what we'll do, we we'll take great ceremony, we'll roll her up, and our next stop will be back excuse me, to put up, check it. But never going to form, it should be give us a warm, nice I like that bit, a warm and a dry, I like that bit, dry tent. This will be waterproof now and will still be breathing. Um, for the moment, thank you very much. Cheers. Morning folks, uh, back again. I'm going to put our uh, fly sheet up now at a latitude of 56 degrees north, a longitude of 4 degrees west. So that's approximately somewhere in the middle of the Irish Sea. So we better get this up before the tape comes in. Temperature 10 degrees centigrade, wind speed uh, 45 miles per hour. But well, we're a wee bit sheltered here. Preparation, let's get ready. Tent pegs. If you fit them in a pocket, do so. Have them handy. Don't think we need these just now. Our tent. Sorry, a fly sheet. 
are tent poles. Tent poles up first. They're heavy. Wind would carry them away. I've been told to shoot because the wind's blowing in centre. Come from behind. Easy to assemble. This fly sheet uses three. Two for the door and one for the door entrance. Quite a clever design this says Ted. We are working with the fly sheet just now. That's one of the dome ones. And again, oh, hey. they almost do themselves. Point I'll make here. You notice the weight, a mark with touch of paint in the center of the pole, right? Now I've done the same with the other one, so when they cross through the sleeve of the fly sheet, I know when to stop. But let's get on with the fly sheet. Remember, 10 pegs handy, yes? Okay. Now this is the one for the door. I feel that wind blowing. Well, you can hear me over the wind. Now that should be folded up before. And now the wind will dictate where the door of the flight is going to be. I'm going to put my back to the wind. Because I'm going to use the wind, not try and fight it. Not try and fight it. So let's find it. The rear that's the one side. Let's go along here. Back now, just check this. Wait, along here. So, as I say, I'm going to use the window, it keeps changing. <laughs> so, I may have to change with the window. Now, if I'm back to the wind, I'm not going to fight the wind. I'm going to bring one corner over to shoot. Take this one. I'm going to peg this down first. Make it secure. That's that one down. Now I want to lay out the tent. As I say. Let's move to the other corner. Now I'm not going to square up to the wind big time. I'm going to go side on to it. I'm going to have this the back. Right? I'm going to have it tacking into the wind. Not square on. Not to my hero. Let's get tacking. To get this done before the tape comes in. <laughs> the wind is We're going to go for it anyway. And this bed is securing it down. decide which way we want the door to be because the wind would make it too difficult for us right this will be the same angle 
bent deck to hand, not fumbling all over the place. That would be the same angle of the wind. Now we can relax, the wind shouldn't take it away from us. We hope. The only difficulty here is the wind keeps changing. You notice the guy ropes are all tied up so he's not getting a mess. That was done uh, originally. So now let's feed the poles. Through the sleeves. This one uses the sleeves. It takes something.
and got fly sheet I should say. I think we must concede that the seamstress has done an excellent job. They are a beautiful fit. Okay. Well we'll staple it all down just to do the job so it's like to do. Um, and that's against a 45 deal. Now, as I said, that is now wind and waterproof. I will retain the, the heat inside the tent for you. There will be no condensation running down inside the fly sheet. Um, there will be no sore heads because it breathes. So, what more could you want? And I said, the seamstress, you don't want to name names, has done an excellent job. This was taken uh, using another fly sheet as a template and we're now, all we do now is put the tent inside. A wee aftermath dog, if you find it hasn't settled too well itself, you can always take these out and let it find its own, its own place. So we'll put that one up pretty good first time around. Now, as I said, Retains warmth, etc, etc. Breeze. We'll leave that at this. Call this end of part one. At the moment there'll still be cold coming through from beneath. Um, you know when in an evening, late while, early mornings, you're pulling stuff off of other people and they're doing the same to you because you can't understand why it's cold. It's coming from the ground. So in part two I'll show you. Catch you again sometime. Thank you.